Unit One: Wrestling with Cultural Differences. Read about it. At age eighteen, Kyokushu's and Noboru left his native Mongolia for Japan. He dreamed of competing in Japan's national sport, sumo wrestling. However, the longer he lived in the new environment, the more challenges the young athlete had to face. Among these struggles, the toughest one for him took place outside the ring. Noboru had to wrestle with how differently Mongolians and Japanese view time. To survive in Japan, he would have to find a way to beat the clock. In Noboru's homeland. People traditionally spend days outdoors, tending to large herds of sheep, goats, and horses. They seasonally move from place to place, searching for fresh grass for their animals. In this way, they tend to follow loose schedules because crossing long distances over rough ground in extreme weather is difficult. They estimate time from the position of the sun and climate patterns. Since circumstances change quickly, Mongolians have been used to flexible schedules. Instead of setting certain times to meet, they often arrange appointments before noon, afternoon, or at night. Patiently waiting for others is normal, as long as they arrive within the specified block of time. They are on time. This is very different from the practice in Japan, where a person is late if he or she shows up even one minute past the appointed time. Japanese would rather arrive five minutes early for dates. To avoid an embarrassing situation, the emphasis on being on time started in the 1800s during Japan's Industrial Revolution, when idle machinery meant lost profit. Factory owners demanded that workers punch in on time for shifts so that they could meet tight production schedules. When Noboru was still adapting to life in his newly adopted country, he once made a big mistake. On one occasion, Noboru and some other junior Mongolian wrestlers. Lost track of time and returned late from an evening birthday party. What's worse, they didn't contact their coach immediately. Therefore, these young people were scolded and punished so severely by their furious master that they actually ran away and considered quitting sumo altogether. Although afterward most of them decided to stay, they never forgot the lesson they learned about being late in the land of the rising sun. From then on. They never dare to come back late or oversleep. It is apparent from Noboru's story that people from different cultures view time in their own ways. With people connecting with others from different cultures, they develop new concepts of time. However, old habits are hard to change. Germans who believe that time is money might think that having a two-hour lunch break is a waste of time. On the other hand, Spanish people have a saying. Viva la vida, which means live life and enjoy every day. They might think two hours is barely long enough to eat, relax, and socialize. Without a doubt, times may change, but culture runs deep. <laughs>